Hello, my name is Marissa Cavanaugh from the McGraw-Hill English team, and welcome to the video on a student walkthrough through the Power of Process tool. Power of Process is an assignment that can be found in your Connect accounts. Power of Process is a reading and writing assignment that will actually walk you through different strategies to help you understand and better comprehend what the material you're reading is talking about. There's actually going to be different types of activities for different strategies. These strategies may involve having you write a response, like a sentence or a paragraph, to some of the questions they're asking, or highlight and annotate an example of it. Overall, the Power of Process tool will do a great deal to help improve your comprehension of the program. It will also help with your critical thinking skills and actually your own writing so you can get better grades in your course. Let's take a look at Power of Process in the program itself. To access your Power of Process assignment, log into Connect. If you're using this through Blackboard or Canvas or D2L, log into one of those systems and go to where your in instructor puts your assignments. You can identify a Power of Process assignment by looking for the icon that has a circle or colorful wheel. In this information, you should be able to see the title of your assignment and also the due date and how many attempts you have left to submission. Click on the assignment to get started. When I click on the Power of Process assignment, the very first thing that's going to show up for you is actually some basic instructions from your instructor. In here, I'm being asked to follow the process wheel, complete all these strategies listed, and to make sure that I actually do the personal reflection at the end. I have until October 17th to complete it. When I'm ready to begin, I click OK. As you notice as this pulls up, my assignment or reading activity is in the background. Before I'm able to access it or do anything, the very first thing that comes to me is actually a colorful process wheel, and the text is dimmed in the background. So the first thing I actually have to do to get started is click on a strategy that's listed in this wheel. As you can see, in my example, there are four strategies. Your instructor may have more or less, depending on the assignment. You can click on any strategy in any order, but we do recommend that you start with the beginning in the before category. The before category is labeled in pink, the during category is in green, and the after in blue. The idea behind this is that when you read something, whether it's a Facebook message, a text, uh, more likely an article or an essay or a textbook chapter, you do scan quickly to see what's going on. That's something that you do very instinctively in the before section. During the actual reading, you think a little bit more about what's being discussed and you ask questions or try to clarify what's going on. And at the end of a reading activity, you try to understand or respond or use the information you just gained. If you follow this process wheel in this order, it should be helpful in comprehending what you're learning. I'm going to click on the before ask questions strategy first. As you can see, the process wheel disappears, although it is available for me to click over here on the right. The reading is now available to me below, and the strategy itself that I'm going to be doing is up here at the top. In this particular strategy, it's telling me to ask questions before I really dive into the reading about this text. What am I going to learn or what do I think I'm going to learn if I look quickly at the title or the author or just a couple of the beginning words in the paragraph? So in my case, I'm going to say, I think I'm going to learn about global warming, but why is it gaining so much attention? When I'm done here, I'm going to click Save, and the process wheel will pop back up for me to continue. Now notice that it's faded now, the strategy I just completed, so I can move forward. But at any time, you can return to any strategies that you've already clicked Save for. It's actually highly encouraged that you go back and forth between these different strategies as you move through the program. So let's go to the next one, which is Clarify. So now I'm in the during reading stage, and I'm asked to really dig into the material that's being presented. You'll notice the strategy is a little bit different than what we just saw a moment ago. It's not a writing strategy. It's actually asking me to highlight examples of what I'm trying to clarify. So the strategy is saying, when you look at this text, is there anything that's confusing? Would you like to know a different word's meaning, or uh, summarize, or give examples of something that supports the main idea? To do this strategy, all I need to do is highlight the parts of the text I want to talk about. So, in my example, I'm going to highlight the very first couple of lines. Wherever I drag my cursor to will highlight here in yellow, and at the end there's this little annotation button. Click on the annotation button to tell the program and your instructor why you highlighted this. When you're done, click Save. 
You'll notice this came up in a particular color, green. If you have several annotation exercises assigned to you by your instructor, it might get confusing to track them all and say what you're saying for a particular area. The program will actually color code the strategies for you. So in this example, it's color coded green. If I had more strategies, they might be color coded as pink or blue or some other color to give an example. Highlight as many options as you want, and remember to look through the entire reading assignment here. Don't just skim the beginning, really look and dig into what the material is being asked here. When I'm done, click Save, and again, move forward. Some of these strategies will actually interact with you. So for example, in the beginning, we were saying, what types of questions would we like answered by this essay? The program is now asking us, during the actual reading, did you find the answers to those questions? So, why is it gaining attention? Click Save when you're done. And again, the program will come back. Remember, you can always go back, and it's encouraged to do so. If I, for example, am reading later on down the line, different areas of the text at the bottom that I'm not quite understanding or would like to clarify in this strategy, I can return highlight another example, and explain what's going on here. Remember to click Save as you move forward in each part of the strategy. Now in my example, we're getting to the final one, Summarize the Text, which is something that you do after you've read the entire thing, usually gone through all the strategies, and really try to absorb the material. So it's saying, in here, can you write what the main idea and the supporting details were about this essay, and really phrase it in your own words. I'm going to click Save when I'm done. And my final step after I've completed all of the strategies is a reflection process. The reflection process is asking you to think about what you just learned and how you just proceeded through the program. You'll notice below there's actually the order in which you walked through. It'll say, I walked through the program by beginning at the before strategies. I went back and forth dur during with a couple of different annotations. And at the end, I summarized my text. You can even see how many times you proceeded through which part of the circle. The point of the anal analyzation process is to really think about what might have helped you. Did something benefit you here, or did you understand something better because you used this feature or this tool? Let your instructor and the program know. When you're done, click Save. Before you submit to your instructor, you're given a preview example of what your instructor will see. On the left is the essay and all of the highlights and annotations that you just entered. You can hover above it and see what you've responded to and why you highlighted a particular text. Your instructor and you will also see over on the right a tabulated version of your assignment. So for example, everything that I've highlighted here is listed by the program. It will say what the strategy was, what the questions were, and how I responded. It will also be able to allow you to edit the material here and when your instructor receives this, they can give comment or feedback on your particular examples. If you're not ready to submit, click Save and Exit and return to it later. If you'd like a hard copy of your assignment, go to the bottom and click Download as a PDF. When you're completely ready to submit this for grading, click Submit Assignment. Remember, once it's submitted, this will go to your instructor for grading, so make sure you're completely done before hitting this blue button. If you'd like any additional help or would like to see some of the other items kind of online, you can click the help feature anytime up at the top here of Connect. This will actually open up a page that will walk you through similarly, similarly to this video and just show you how to access the program piece by piece. If you have any questions, feel free to contest, contact us at tech support at any time. Thanks so much for joining us and enjoy the power.